Once again, Nvidia delivered a big flop GPU launch, which we could already see coming thanks to the groundbreaking GPU ever. The RTX 4060 meets a similar fate, if not worse than what we saw with the 4060 Ti. At the moment, Nvidia is letting off its hold on the GPU market arrogantly as it is not on its priority list. And it's all because AMD refuses to work harder to increase its GPU share and that's what is making Nvidia more comfortable with the current GPU situation. When the 4060 Ti was launched, it saw one of the worst sales ever and that makes sense because it is still the worst graphics card. But things did not improve with the 4060 and instead it is meeting a worse fate than its bigger sibling. The sales stat is one of the most reliable ways to know if a GPU has failed and 3D Center recently posted the RTX 4060 sales data for the first day. This is from mindfactory.de which is one of the biggest online retail stores in Germany. Here you can see that the RTX 4060 totally crushes every other GPU launch we had till now as the card sold a whopping 10 units on the first day. This is already three times lower than the 4060 Ti sales which costs $100 more and still can't beat the 3060 Ti convincingly. Even the RX 7600 sold better than the 4060 but it is also a better GPU in terms of price to performance ratio. This is a clear indication that the common notion of people buying only Nvidia GPUs might not work this time because the 4060 Ti sales have already proven this. The 4060 Ti was launched more than a month ago and it still can't make it to the top 10 best sellers on Amazon. Instead, we see GPUs like RTX 3060 and even 4070 cards selling the most. Even the RX 6000 cards are selling better than the 4060 and 4060 Ti combined despite having both of them currently in stock for the MSRP. What's worse is that this RX 580 from a generic brand is outselling these GPUs. Of course, the price is a big factor here, but that's the whole point. Had Nvidia launched the 4060 for $250 or at least for $270 as a maximum price, the results could have been better. But if Nvidia Nvidia cared, it could have learned it from the 4060 Ti launch. The 4060 does not seem beneficial in any case whether for upgrading from an older gen card or even for building a brand new gaming PC. The only exception here can be if in some countries the price of older gen cards or AMD cards are higher, you can compromise on the 4060 just like this guy in Japan who had to upgrade from the 1060. And not surprisingly, just like the last time, he is the only guy who bought the 4060 but some stores did not even open in a place where people would use to line up in a big queue on the very first day of GPU launches. I think the only way now to make sales better is to either lower the prices by slashing at least $50 or equipping them with M.2 SSDs like Asus did recently. But of course the price should not be increased at all. But the reason why Nvidia won't go on an aggressive price reduction is because AMD can't get ahead of it. GPU sales have already shown customer behavior that when there is an Nvidia GPU that performs equal to its rival GPU from AMD, users are more inclined to buy the Nvidia card even if the price is slightly higher. This is due to the established reputation of Nvidia when we consider their latest gaming tech and driver support. That said, even though AMD has managed to mature its drivers properly, unless it can provide a significant uplift in rasterization for lower prices than Nvidia GPUs, it won't go ahead of the green team. Still, we don't see AMD doing any better and this directly helps Nvidia to keep its big share in the GPU market. However, seeing the latest GPU launches from Nvidia, I can confidently say that Nvidia's GPU share will drop rapidly once either AMD or Intel catches up to it, but till then Nvidia would have lost its long established reputation for being gamer friendly. And this can totally come out to be true if Nvidia doesn't pay attention to what its competitors are preparing for. Nvidia thinks that it owns the gaming tech through ray tracing and the recently announced path tracing, but to its surprise the underdog Intel is trying to crush Nvidia through its surprising strategy. Intel recently announced that they are working on path tracing, but the difference here would be that unlike Nvidia, Intel is going to make sure that path tracing works on affordable GPUs too and moreover it won't stop it coming to the integrated graphics. This might seem too difficult for now as path tracing is too intensive even on the most powerful GPUs we have from Nvidia. But as the tech and hardware will mature, everything will be possible. Intel explains how they are working on neural graphics which is more beneficial than vanilla path tracing when it comes to compression. This will help them achieve path tracing on affordable GPUs including the Intel Arc Alchemist family. Of course, achieving this level of high detail on budget GPUs will take time but it will show surely put Nvidia's GPU share in danger. Now before moving on, consider subscribing to the channel because on this channel I cover the most interesting stories right after their breakout. And all you need to do is click on the subscribe button so you never miss any stories again.
Moving on, we have an official announcement from AMD for the rumored Zen 3 based 3D CPU. If you remember, a few days back we saw the Ryzen 5600X 3D on a leaked table that was rumored to launch this year. Now it is official as the company has decided to launch it on 7th July but exclusively to Micro Center. Unfortunately, this CPU will be only available in Micro Center in the US, but fortunately, this is not bad news for everyone because it is launching for a price of $230. Here I'm talking specifically from one perspective and I will also also touch on what benefits you can have with this CPU. But for the sake of CPU competition in the current market, we also have to consider its disadvantages. At $230, this CPU makes less sense to me from the point of a user who wants to build a brand new system because we already have the Ryzen 7600 and the 7600X both available for the same price and they offer better performance than the 5600X 3D. This is because the 5800X 3D hardly outperforms the 7600 CPUs and the 5600X 3D is most likely going to perform worse. This is one of the reasons why the 5800X 3D came down below $300, but at least it has more cores and threads than the 7600 CPUs. But with the 5600X 3D, things are very different, as it shares the same core and thread configuration as the 7600 CPUs, and we have seen how a 6-core CCD performs against a CPU that comes with 8 cores enabled on a 3D VCAST die. A clear example is the gaming inferiority of the 7900X 3D or the 7800X 3D, even though the former has more cores, but the fact that the CCD that hosts 3D vCache only has 6 cores that throttles its performance in some titles. The same can be said for the 5600X 3D even though we don't have the performance numbers and even if it matches the 5800X 3D, it still can't beat the 7600 and the 7600X that are superior in gaming for the same price and have other benefits such as the latest AM5 platform, DDR5 compatibility and of course the Starfield game which AMD is bundling with the Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Had AMD launched the 5600X 3D for $200 or less, it would have made a good choice for users who are building a system from scratch, but at the same time, it is a compelling choice for M4 system owners who are looking to upgrade from any of the first 3 Ryzen generations. Considering that you already have a budget Ryzen CPU from the first 3 generations on a B450 or B550 motherboard, the 5600X 3D would be an ideal upgrade without breaking the bank. Upgrading from something like a Ryzen 1600 or 2600 will be the best idea and even for those who own an entry-level A320 chipset motherboard, adding 5600X 3D to it won't be a bad idea, considering that the 5600X 3D won't be overclockable. Even for someone who doesn't have enough cash to spend on an AM5 platform, the 5600X 3D on an A320 chipset motherboard combined with 16 gigs of RAM and a GPU like RX 6750 XT will be an absolute gaming beast for 1440p gaming. And from this point of view, 5600X 3D is another threat to Intel processors. That said, unlike graphics cards, AMD is at least not struggling that much with its CPUs and its next generation CPUs are even more promising. Watch this video on how AMD can put Intel in problem with Zen 5 based CPUs that will come with an improved graphics architecture. And if you like the video then hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss the latest uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.